Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome to the December update of my project pen. These are makeup products that I want to use up and finish and I do an update on them every month. Also, I'm trying out this new angle. All my makeup products are behind me. This is my heavy corner. So let's start with the progress update. Throughout this month, I realized there are some makeup products I don't really use during this season and there are other makeup products I really love, so I'm going to do some changes. This is a Benefit Professional Primer. This is a pore filling primer that smooths out your skin. I haven't been using this this month at all. I think it's just my skin is dry during the winter months and I really too like to use a moisturizing cream or a moisturizing makeup primer so I haven't been using this lately I'm going to take it out and put it back once my skin gets more oily again Moving on to powders This is my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer I really like this bronzer I mentioned many times It smells super nice, it smells like a mix of coconut, butter, it has a really nice sweet scent, it's not too strong that you like get uncomfortable from it. I made a really big pan on it and it keeps expanding. It's a very nice bronzer, it's not a shimmery one but it's also not a matte one. It gives you a really nice natural luminous glow which I really like. Also gives you a really nice healthy tan color on the skin. I'm looking forward to finishing this bronzer. This is my Chemic Marshmallow Finish Powder. I really like this face powder. This is like my third pan in it. I bought the original one and then refilled it twice, so this is the third pen that I'm on right now. I made a really big pen on it already, I'm just finishing off the edges, and then I want to throw this one away and buy the new packaging. I've had this for like years already and you can see there's a lot of scratches on the golden packaging. I think the packaging is really cute. They recently did an update and now the new packaging looks like a little cookie which also looks really cute. I'm going to get the same shade of the powder as I use the new packaging and then keep refilling it as well. I'm going to keep on using the Chemic Marshmallow Finish Powders. If you watch my Project Pen videos, you know I struggle with this NARS blush. NARS is really making their products worth the money. I've been using this blush for years already, I just can't hit pen on it. This is the shade Outlaw, a very pretty discontinued, very pink shade with some golden shimmers in it. It is very pretty, but I really want to finish it up. Now for the Fenty Beauty highlighter, this is my Killer Watt highlighter in the shade Lightning Dust Fire Crystal. And I'm super proud of this little tiny tiny pen here. It's super cute. I want to keep expanding it until it gets really big. For this side, I haven't been using it a lot. It's a very light, like really pale, white almost kind of highlighter. I feel like it's too light for my skin, you see? It's very white and bright. When I try to use this in my eye looks, it's too white to like pair with any of my makeup looks. When I try to use it on my face, I have like bronzer, blush on, my skin is like warm tone, and this white pinkish highlighter just doesn't look good on me. It becomes like a streak of really white powder and I just don't like how it looks. I need to find an occasion to like hit pen on this too. Guys, Rare Beauty came out with a new highlighter as a makeup brand from Selena Gomez. It looks super pretty, I really want to get my hands on it but we don't have Rare Beauty here. That's a shame. Let me know if you are getting it. This is my Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder. I also realized I haven't been using this because this is a oil control powder and I don't sweat. My skin is really dry lately so I haven't been using this as well. This is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I have the older version, it came with a little brush when I bought it. And this is a mini one, the 4 grams one. I have a pen in it, I'm just trying to finish it up. I want to finish up the entire pen of this little thing. I really like to use it when I'm creating like a strong eye look and then I like to add more bronze to my face than I usually do. This is the darkest bronzer in my collection and I really like it. When I'm doing a smoky eye or a warm brown look, I like to really bronze up my face and this one does the job. For my concealers, I haven't been using the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I use the same and the NARS one, but I realized this month I haven't actually been using concealers. Like I've used it like a few times, but most of the time this month I've been doing my makeup with just a cushion foundation or a liquid foundation. I realized I don't like so much coverage these days. I like to keep it natural with just a layer of thin foundation. I don't know, but lately I just feel like letting my dark circle peek through, letting my redness around the nose peek through. I don't feel like covering it up too much. That's a good habit. Maybe in the next month it will change again. As for the palettes, I realized I haven't been touching them this month. I haven't used this palette at all this month and for the Colourpop one, I also haven't used it. I realized that I'm always like into new palettes. I like to look at new eyeshadow palettes online and like to use the newest palettes in my collection. I found myself actually using my rainbow palettes a lot. Like my Colourpop Fade Into Hue palette and the Kaleidos Escape palette. Escape pot palette. I find myself using these colorful palettes a lot instead of like my normal warm neutrals. I'm either using like my colorful eyeshadow shades or I'm using my new eyeshadow palettes. I don't find myself using like my old eyeshadow palettes. This is a bad habit I need to change. I need to love all my old eyeshadow palettes. I bought them, I need to take care of them, I need to use them. So this is a habit I need to change. I need to use my older palettes and show them some love as well from time to time. I will definitely work on it next month. 
And for my 3CE palette, I used it a few times this month. I really like those sparkly, pretty shades. If you're looking for a good Korean eyeshadow palette, I think 3CE palettes are super pretty and good quality. I like the matte shades, they're super easy to blend. The glittery shades look super pretty on the eyes, and they're also super mochi soft. Like when you touch them, it feels like you can press them down. It feels almost like a cream eyeshadow. Look at how pretty that is! I actually broke two of the glitter shades when I was filming one day. I dropped the palette and then I had to smoosh them back and it was super easy. Oh, they look super pretty. I love this palette. If I hit pair more shades in this palette, I think I'll try out other Korean makeup brands like Clio, Espoir, Peripera, Twinkle Pop. They make really cute eyeshadow palettes too. As for my nude sticks, guys, I finished one. This is a nude stick in the shade Stiletto. Look at how tiny it is. It's like almost the same size as a cap. I'm really reaching the end of it, I'm reaching the label of it. This is a very pretty red color. This is the first nude sticks I got. I really like the color of it, the finish of it. I feel very pretty when I wear it. But I don't think I'm going to buy more lip crayons. Not just from nude sticks, but I don't want to buy more lip crayons where I have to sharpen it. I think it's just, it's messy. I have one pencil sharpener for four of these pencils because they came in a set. And like every time I have to wipe around the pencil sharpener, getting like rid of the last color that I used on it. And also when I apply these lip crayons it feels super soft it feels like i'm going to smoosh it and break it and i always have a fear of like breaking the lip crayons and having to sharpen them again i think it's like too much extra work for just the matte lip colors that i can get out of any liquid lipstick or matte lipstick in my collection i do really like the colors i think they're very pretty this one's officially done for me i might still like use the rest tip of it to put it on my lips or on my cheeks but this is officially done i'm very happy i finished the lip product this is the dior lip plumper my mom gave me I only made a little bit progress, but I really like this lip plumper. Like I could remember ever since I was a kid, my mom would put this on her lips and then she would let me try it. And she told me it would be spicy, it have this minty feeling. And I put it on my lips, I feel very pretty when I was putting it on as a little kid. And I like the minty feeling, the tingly feeling it gave me. I would secretly go to my mom's makeup bag to get it and put it onto my lips. My mom has been using this product for many years. It's so pretty. This is a 001 shade, just like a very pretty natural light pink one. It goes onto your lips clear. They recently updated their packaging, so now you have like a Dior logo on this side. Maybe I will buy a new one of this after I'm done with this. Do you guys have any memories of like playing with your mom's makeup as a kid? The last product is this highlighter stick, which is just stays the same. I used it actually quite a lot this month. I like the natural highlighter look it gave me, but I don't find myself doing any progress on it. It's just a solid piece of rock. This is a very natural highlighter, like it only gives you a little bit sheen on your skin, which I really like. It's not glittery, not shimmery, just give you a natural sheen. I wear it on the tip of my nose. And that guys is an update for my project pan for December. I realized there are some makeup products I really love and appreciate and I'll keep on using them and repurchasing them. And then there are other makeup products I haven't been using lately because of my preference, because of the way I like my makeup and because of the condition of my skin. So I'm going to do some little changes. I appreciate all the makeup products I have in my collection and I'm really happy to have this big makeup collection here. Thank you guys so much for watching and keeping up with my project pan. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, have a great day night wherever you are and I will see you in my next one. Bye!